not here. Who's calling? Where is she? Don't tell me she went back to the gym again. Holy cow, she is reckless. <gasps> oh, she found the note. So you just don't care about your life at all, huh, Sonia? Like, what happened? Why are you here? You know, it's dangerous. Have you ever wished you'd never been born? Damn, what? Sonia. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Sorry, what would you know? First time was right after moving to New York. Damn, so I hated my mother. She was the reason we moved from the countryside and the smell of freshly mowed grass to this dirty city and the smell of medicine. Her medicine. The second time was after she died. Oh no. I hated so myself now. for having hated her before. For not having loved her enough. The third time Damn. was when my father shut himself off. I hated him for that. For abandoning me. For giving in to the booze. Now he's dead, so take a guess. You hate yourself for having hated him. Yes, but okay. that's not the worst of it. The problem what? is I don't know how to live without hating him. Over the last few years, everything I've done was meant to push my father far away. To avoid being like him. To avoid making his same mistakes. Without him, I just don't know who I am. And you won't even let me hate Bobby. Which might actually help me. Bro, Bobby Yale is innocent. Bobby Yale is innocent. He doesn't deserve your hate. Don't you think I know that? I need someone to blame. It said your advice didn't help, Without Sonia. That someone, I have only myself to hate. You know, therapy is good. Like... I'll find the person who did this. I promise. Let me have my doubts. Although, you've already come so far. I'm sorry I haven't been a little more grateful. In any case, you shouldn't hate yourself. You are... No, you have such good qualities. There you go. There you go. Let me, let me do this. The triple You're three. kind, smart, and beautiful. Are you really trying to flatter me now? No, oh, I, Lord! Seriously, I didn't mean to... Sorry. Anyway, can we just drop the subject? Did you go to my father's apartment? Yes. The thief went there before coming to the gym. Which leads me to believe he didn't find what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? That's what I intend to find out. With your help. Okay, so... Right here. Your father sold his apartment. The new owners move in in two weeks. What? I'm sorry. I think he used the money to buy a new place with Mary Purnell. The letter you're holding explains the rest. I wish I'd had the chance to talk to her. Yeah, but you were too angry to do it. I found a picture taken during the war. <laughs> the Olympic Five. She knows. Did you meet any of them, besides your father and uncle? Well, Uncle Tim actually isn't my uncle. No? He and my father loved each other like brothers. Did he tell you that he saved his life? Thorpe saved your father? They were flying over Brittany in a three-unit fighter plane. Zukovsky was the pilot, my father was the co-pilot, and my uncle manned the machine gun. Suddenly, enemy fire killed Zukovsky and injured Ooh. my father, which is why he 
never boxed again. Wow. My uncle jumped out of the gun turret, ran to the cockpit, and managed to pilot the plane to safety. Oh, the times my father told me that story. And now... You still have your uncle, so... You still have your uncle? Yes, I guess you're right. Maybe he can also save me. There you go. And besides, that man loves you like a niece anyways. He has your back. Did you ever meet Spano? What can you tell me about him? I think I saw him once, but I was just a little girl. I think my uncle turned him into a star. That was a long time ago. I found a baseball glove with Spano's autograph in your room. Oh, I've never seen it. My father must have put it there. Although I don't remember him having a signed glove. Wait, what? That's suspicious. Did you ever meet Mitchell, the doctor? Mitchell? The lizard? No, never. Why? Oh, nothing. I think I've seen him somewhere. I saw your old room. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Stop, or I'll end up hating you. Oh, I mean, if it helps, right? I'm also a fan of Frank Papalia. Oh, yeah, the poster. I only liked him because my father thought he was too modern. Damn, you really made your whole personality on being a rebel against your dad. It's odd that there are practically no toys or memories of your childhood in the room, except for a small music box. That box? It might just be my last happy memory. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates. So my father drew a treasure map for me. Aw, that's so cute. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. Look at him being a fun dad. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where daddy had put up a a tire swing. X marks the spot, so I, I dug to find my treasure. I loved the music it played. The ballerina and the little secret compartment. Oh, the secrets I kept in there. I think it's the first time I heard you call your father, Daddy. Yeah, that is true. You're getting vulnerable. Really? Yeah. It's good though, it helps. Just talk it out. Did the Abacus inspire you to dabble in finances? The most useful gift anybody has ever given me. Oh, come on. A minute ago you were going on and on about getting the music box. Whatever. Now, was it a gift from your... Hmm. A gift from your father? From my Uncle Tim. Damn, okay. He used to say that in this day and age, a woman should know how to count. True. My father didn't agree, but he didn't oppose it either. People thought he was a liberal because of his attitude towards racial issues. But at home, things were different. What do you mean? Oh, no, a conservative. Are you cold? A little. Maybe I should go. Wait, I still have a couple of questions for you. So, keep them being cold. Your dad had great taste in music. So, better taste than I had as a child? Well, now you've put me on the spot. You don't know how happy that makes me. Well, I think you've already answered all my questions. <laughs> it's about time. I thought you were waiting for me to freeze out here. <laughs> anyway. My bad. Thanks for the company. Anytime, Sonia. Thanks for how. Mm. Mm. Damn. I knew I was looking at a solution. But what exactly needed solving? Bro. 
row. Okay, so... I see there's another one here. During the war, Don and his pals were known as the Olympic Five. Don hid the music box under the swing tire tree. Wait a minute! This one... And this one. Hey. Hmm. Maybe Dunn used the same hiding place once more. Yo! Blackstad, behind you, my boy! Turn around, please! Woo! I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, Shit. and energy. Come on. No! I'm about to die. Personally, Yo. I prefer to save my breath for the final roar. Oh, I got killed. Okay, retry. Okay, I'm definitely gonna make sure I press the buttons on time. Let's go. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath. Focus and energy. Come on! Come on! Oh, come on! No! No! <gasps> Sonia! Get up, Black Sad! Sonia's about to get beaten! Oh, I'm pissed. I don't like the way you put your hands on Sonia, asshole. Really? Come on! I desk, I kill again. What the fuck? Fuck! Okay. Again. What's wrong with my controller? Seriously, what's wrong with my controller? Okay. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. Mm -hmm. What a waste mm -hmm. of breath, focus, oh, and energy. Come on! Yo, I press square and it's not pressing square! What the hell? Come on! Thank you! And then a big smack because you know what? Sonia took so long to react. Uh huh. It's Goodbye. Not credibility in the screen that bothers me. Ooh, so you killed Mary! Asshole. Woo! Plus, it's actually pretty handy. Shit! There you go. Cook talks to you in the middle of a fight. You know you're up against the rookie. Come on. Bye. Uh, help him. And if he doesn't even say, help me, please. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Is he dead? Or knocked out? He's alive! What did they say? <clears throat> Nothing serious. I lost another one of my nine lives. Oh, this hurts. Got many left? I'm in the red. <sighs> he hasn't woken up yet? Nope. We're gonna be here a while. Looks like Vulpine. I have all the time Seven in the world. Letters. Um... Cunning? C-U-N-N-I-N-G. It fits. I hope it doesn't throw anything off. This little bastard tried to kill me. For what? For what? Aha, uh -huh, yep, yeah, that's the guy. That's the guy, alright. Oh, man. What? Ooh, wait. Hell yeah, another car! Let's go! I love collecting these cars. It's so fun. What's in the closet? Wait, hold on, hold on. A tear in his pants. Okay. Small shoes. Wait a minute. 
Are we able to trace those footprints to Wait, see I if... Know. Vulpine, seven letters. Oh. Cunning. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. What are you Thanks. looking for? Nothing. Will he live? He'll live. So what have you found out? Randall Lee. Apparently in love with our penitentiary system, judging by the frequency of his visits. Theft, assault, extortion, you know, minor things of the sort. Any partners? Always works alone. He's never ratted out his employers, provided they exist. Did you find anything? Is this our man? Do you have proof? Do I? Do I have proof? Um... Well, the thing is, maybe... Uh, let me read some of these things. The ant eater's snout reeks of sardines. The gym burglar signed a document with his foot. A piece of jean fabric on the stairs that led to the gym rooftop. Oh, the ant eater has a tear in his pants. Bro, this is it. Right here. Hmm. It looks like we know who tore his pants following Mary Purnell up to the rooftop. Which she did. She did not deserve to die the way she did. I'm still mad about that, by the way. Can't believe he did that shit, bro. That His shit pisses me tearing. off. I found a piece of that same fabric at the gym. Yep. On the stairs that lead to the rooftop where we found the second body. Makes sense, but how many pairs of ripped pants are walking around New York City? <laughs> I don't call that evidence. Are you kidding me, my boy? Okay, fine. So... What should I do? What about this one with, uh, this one? Oh, a third one. Right here. Ah, oh, come on, are you serious? You know, it's always a hit and miss when it comes to me making these deductions. Uh, this one with this one? Has to be th these two, right? Oh, a third one, great. Uh, huh. Maybe this one? Oh, come on! Okay, let me do it again. Let me do it again! I'm not gonna quit. Mama didn't raise no quitter. You hear me? Oh, come on! Huh. Let me see here. I don't know. And I can't even go back either. I have to figure this out. There's no... Uh, there's no going back button. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe... This one? What should I do, though? Oh shit! The guy who broke into the gym in Dunn's place has a thing for sardines. Did you smell his breath? Right, because there's only one sardine fanatic on this side of the Hudson. Oh Find come on! More. Oh my! Oh my God! This man is busting my balls, bro. He is busting my fucking balls. Okay. Hmm. So... Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. With this one. Oh, come on, bro!
Oh, I don't even know what to do, and I can't even go back. This game is really trying to make me think. Uh, this one with this one? Oh. Sweet. I saw footprints from those very same shoes next to both the gym murders. Unless you're telling me that shoe is a limited edition, I'm gonna need something else. Oh, come on, yo, listen. This, this detective, he, yo, he really, he is really not believing me. Okay. So, this could be one. Oh. One of the thugs that attacked me the other night had a snout just like his. I'm sorry, but you can't incriminate someone based solely on species. What else you got? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Four pieces of evidence. Yeah, bro, None come on! Which are conclusive. He tried to throw me off the rooftop. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. He's our man. No, he's not our man. Make up your mind. He's just a puppet. Someone is pulling his strings. Hmm. Could it be Yale? Yo. Nah. No. I'm still certain. He's innocent. By the way, was he discharged? His room is empty. They let him out yesterday. He's in police custody now. You can tell he's an athlete. Made quite the comeback. Anyone else would have taken ten times as long. Anyway, he better be fine. You know they've ordered me to escort him to Madison Square Garden on the day of the fight. That's the first I hear of it. Wait, what? Quick, what do you want? Good cop or bad cop? Good cop. I'm the good guy. I love playing this game. Let's go. <laughs> good thing someone took out the trash. <laughs> No wonder you were saved by garbage, you piece of trash. But you're gonna wish it hadn't. Go to hell, you dog. My partner is right. We'll ruin your life. Uh-huh. Yep. Unless you collaborate, that is. We know you killed Joe Dunn and Mary Purnell, you bastard. I'll call your bluff. You ain't got nothing. Are you oh, okay yeah? with our usual witness program? For a modest sum, they'll say they saw your sorry snout when and where we tell them to. We're no strangers to false evidence. We could arrest your sorry ass for more crimes than you've committed. Although it is odd that my partner won't offer you a deal in exchange for telling us who hired you. What can you offer me? We could significantly reduce your sentence. I could testify that you helped me on the rooftop. You're pathetic. Is that why you never got in the police force, Black said? Did you wow. fail the good cop, bad cop test? Damn. I won't say a word. And believe me, you stand to lose. Care for a piece of advice? If I were you, I'd fear for my life. I'm oh, really? That... <gasps> oh, Watch shit! Out. Oh, shit! <clears throat> Yo, are you good? Shit. Yo, someone really did kill him. Okay. Where is it? Where is the person? Oh, right over here. That's the person who's trying to kill everyone. Did I get them? They ran off. Damn. They're gone, Black Sad. They're gone. Bro, are you okay? Luckily, Smirnov's wound wasn't as bad as Randall's. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, the police found nothing on the nearby rooftops. Our best shot at finding the killer was gone. So I went back to my previous name. 
Damn, man. There goes our evidence. Someone really wanted Randall to be dead, too. That's the crazy part. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates, so my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. Okay. That's a very cute paint, and I'm not gonna lie. And the mom did this, too. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Wait, what is that? A secret compartment? Hell yeah! Okay. Ooh, what's this? Ring a ring. Hello, Smirnoff residence. You're Rescue dead. Here. No, I got you with my lasso. Can you quiet down, kids? Gun got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime. Kids, please. He'd been investigating athletes for months, including Helen Moore and Al Stone, among others. And Gun's mm. notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. Mm. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Right. That could be some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. Sure, but there's something important that I need to finish first. I wanted to follow a certain lead on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything. Look at him, just smoking and According to his notebook, chilling. Dunn had seen Craig Spanner at Sam's Banner just four days before his death. Yo, it's good. Let's talk. Scram, you son of a bitch! Wow, really? I'm sorry about what happened to Mary. You're sorry? I am. I'm the one who's sorry. You know what it's like to run this place alone? What the hell do you care, anyway? Beat it! It might have been easier to slap the information out of him, but I decided to trust in a universal truth. Everyone is guilty of something. You don't know who I am, right? Don't know and don't care! Come on, spit it out! I'm John H. Blackmore, public health inspector. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there are some real freaks around here, so I have to be firm, you know? Oh, now? Look at you being nice. Have you eaten? Dinner's on the house. After you answer my questions. Sure, go ahead. Your call. Always at your disposal, Inspector. Wow, Ask this away. is nice. Fear turned him soft and made him talk. Sure enough, Don had been there a few days back with a chimpanzee who matched Spano's description. Apparently, the guy still lived with his father. Dunn said he couldn't stay there a day more. For the time being, he would move into his place. This gossip is pretty juicy. Wait a minute! What does public health services have to do with that chip? The chimp died of food poisoning. But wait! He... he didn't even eat! Which is even worse. Ha! Huh. Sam is shook! I love it. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.